Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of Boogie Board. So we're going to talk about lighting controls. It's going to be real quick, simple, and easy. So lighting controls, as you know, are just really tedious, right? You're putting a couple switches next to each and every door, some mock sensors, and you got to figure out all your spacing, all that kind of good stuff. Well, what we're going to do here is, as you can see, we've got a default menu for switches and all the rooms that reside within that building. So what we're going to do is let's just say we want uh, dimmers, or maybe let's just say we want wall mounted occupancy sensors to be our kind of default. So we're just going to go ahead and hit set changes. We we'll select all the rooms because we want a switch of some sort in all the rooms. And maybe in conferences, we just really want dimmers. Um, computer lab, we want a dimmer. Cafeteria, um, we'll go with just a single pole switch in here. And we'll put, just put two in the, Computer lab, conference room, that's fine. Actually, we'll probably have two different sets of things within a drafting room, uh, dry storage, ox sensors are great for those. Electrical room, we just need a single pole switch. Construction room, ox sensor. Actually, let's, let's go to dimmers to in there. Library, we'll just do a single pole switch. Lounge, single pole. Actually, the lounge will probably have some ox sensors. Again, we're just going through this list and doing like what we would do for each of the rooms. As we go through, instead of going through the model and deciding what we need to do, we'll just do it all here. Simple list and quickly, easily go through, right? Single pole in here, open office, uh, we'll put a couple of dimmers up, storage, ox sensors great, ox sensors great, ox sensors great. And then we'll go in here and we'll and select our kind of default family. So we want both technology 360 pattern and a 25 foot diameter, 12 foot radius is about what most uh, pictures you do. We'll just go ahead and select everything, but let's take a look over here. All right, where do we need anything? So we're, we're not doing anything with four doors. So we'll take care of that with ox sensors. And we want ceiling mounted, these computer lab, cafeteria, conference. So really we don't need and actually, let's just deselect everything. So we're going to say cafeteria, the computer lab conference. You know, that's going to get taken care of. The corridor for sure. Drafting, instruction rooms, library, lobby, lounge. We'll take care of those. Make sure that we're in line here. Again, you can go back and forth. Really simple, easy. So maybe not the lounge, maybe not media. Not the office. Oops, in the office, we want some dimmers. So we'll go ahead and put them in the office. Don't need them in the lounge, in the lobby. And so we'll put them in the lobby. And then we'll get to check that one lounge. I think that's okay. So we don't need one there. We'll go down through here, open office. Where we put in the office, we put some dimmers. So we definitely want some ceiling mounted ox sensors because that's the difference here right one's on the the wall the other's on the ceiling so we'll go through here storage and the rest of that should be good so then we'll go ahead and hit run all and it's going to go through uh room by room for this entire building and place all of these devices so there's really nothing in here there's a few panels that kind of thing uh within this model but nothing in terms of lighting devices uh switches ox sensors so take a few minutes to, to run through this and give you everything that you need. And it's, again, super quick, super easy. Um, and here, we're already done. So we've got 129 switches, 69. So it's 129 plus 69. So right about 200 devices in, you know, just a few minutes. So pretty amazing. Let's go through here. So we've got, you know, dimmers, aux sensors, Right throughout, so it's at the door. Ox sensor in here. You can see the switch. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty awesome. We'll go up to the second floor. Again, same thing for everything we laid out. Right, and like here, there's not anything because it's a current wall. So you'll still need to go through. Um, but we did have here's that ox sensor for the lounge that we placed. So again, go through. Make sure you've got everything laid out. Uh, that you need, but again, this is probably 90% of the way done for you. And 
just a few minutes. So what it would have taken you, you know, maybe it would have taken you an hour uh, to lay out all this stuff. Here you are and done in just a few minutes. And again, this was a much, much bigger building, save even more time. So super simple and easy. And for this lighting controls, it's 49 bucks a month. You can get that as a network like network license or uh, through the Autodesk App Store and you sign in with your Autodesk ID. And obviously you get savings if you buy for the full entire year. So it's 497 for the entire year, 49 bucks a month. Again, if you're saving an hour basically for lighting controls for each and every project, man, um, it's definitely worth 49 bucks and you do multiple projects every month, totally worth it. Or anything bigger, see this is only a three story, uh, 40,000 square foot building. So here's here's that building, right? Three stories, 40,000 square feet. So if you're doing anything over that, um, Boogie Board is totally worth it or doing more projects. Again, if you can save an hour a project or multiple hours per project, totally worth your investment of $49 to yield this type of results and do it that quickly. So this is a walkthrough of Boogie Board. I thank you guys for watching and go invest because you'll love the results of the board.